so now we'll uh, try to uh, create the base skeleton for this uh, YouTube uh, statistics plugin. So first what we'll do is like we'll uh, create up a function name like a sample configuration. So what will be the sample configuration needed for this file? So I will provide that type of this return of this function. So it will be like a string. So now we'll do like a YouTube. Then a second function that's a description. So it will be again a, a string returning. So what we'll do is like a so get a YouTube channel information from YouTube. And then the third skeleton that's uh, accumulated so where the data will be collected and uh, will be gathered so here what we'll do is like we'll uh, have the function so where we'll have this accumulator telegraph dot accumulator And uh, if anything goes on with this function, so auto return null. So and then the final uh, function that's the init. So whenever this uh, plugin is get called, this init function will be get called. So for this function, we'll be having the inputs. Start add. And then our package name, and then the function of input will be returning the package name. That's YouTube. Okay. So now the next thing what we have to do is like we we'll try to fill up those things like a sample configuration and description and the accumulators for the YouTube uh, plugin so we'll have a look at this uh, conf Golan uh, YouTube documentation so they've been given some context background and they've created the YouTube service so here also we'll try to create up a new service and then uh, so we have to uh, validate this service using an API key so in that case we have to create an API key so that we'll create a once we create the plugin. So, uh, so we'll try to create a structure for this uh, plugin like type YouTube structure. So what are the params we are going to get received from the user is the list of channels which they want to uh, visualize, I mean uh, to collect the metrics. So here it will be in an array of strings. So you can provide a number of channels. It will be in a string. So instead of so for the user view it will be like channels. And then I have to provide an API key, so which will be of type string. So this is used to validate the user account. So to collect the metrics from the YouTube, you have to get an API key from GCP. So that's the reason. So provide what should be the name API key. And then we have to create a YouTube service. YouTube service. What the pointers? YouTube service. Yeah. 
create other structure for the list of params which you are going to get from the user. So now we'll provide a sample configuration like how this should be config. So here we'll enter out like a list of channels to monitor. So here we provide the channels. So it should be now for A. So it will have some strings. I mean the channel ID. So we'll uh, this ID is later. So once we take some, or we can go to YouTube now itself and we can check some. I will go to a channel like a YouTube itself. Get anything like so we do something like YouTube originals. So we'll click on this channel. So here you can see an ID, right? So we'll copy this one. So we'll just copy this ID. So this is the ID that uh, the user has to provide, like when, so which channel they want to track. So we can close the YouTube now. So and then the API key. So here we will uh, provide YouTube configuration and as well as in uh, description we will provide the YouTube. So here we don't want to change anything like it will be the description again. So but in the this gather part like uh, so here we will be having some works so we will be correcting the statistics and what kind of a statistics we have to get it out. So all these kinds of logics will be writing out here. So before that, before that, I think we have to create upon a YouTube service. So we'll create a service like the here PC, right? So creating a service and passing the API key so we'll create up a service here so provide a, create a new function and we'll name this as create YouTube service and then we provide this context.context .context. and then we'll get the YouTube service So here also we provide this YouTube. So here what we'll get is we'll create up a new service. This would be like a YouTube dot new service. Then we'll pause the context. And then option so with the API key so that will be like which we have received Uh, 
cause the error confusion for this one as well. And now we'll uh, try to write the logics for the data um, which needs to be collected. So we'll create a variable a context and then we'll take a background, context background. Now we'll uh, write up this conditions, set the YouTube services, and in this case, PD service, CL. Oops, CTX. There is no error means we uh, turn the error and then it will be like YouTube service equal to service and now what we'll do is like we will uh, list down what are the things we need from the YouTube API so it will be a day of string so it will be what kind of an object you are going to get from this array so we are going to snip part and then the status text then we will make a call to create an array I mean a variable named call and we will call this youtube service and then the channels so it will list down the channels and from that list so we will join the all these channels comma separated value and then the ID of this channels will be like range strings to join the channels which will be a comma separated and then we'll put up a result like max result should be the number of records which needs to be fetched so we will put as 50 what was the error? cannot convert the join should be like string array oops I messed up with this thing so take one more time so in that uh, youtube so the thing which you are going to get is the channels so from the channel we are going to get the list so in the list we are going to join the string array the and then the id Results like a couple of reports. Okay, so now we put the response. Uh, what we get the call? And if there is an error, return error. So next thing what we do is like uh, we'll send this matrix to the influx TV. So now we'll uh, put up a timestamp. So we'll generate a timestamp here now. Time dot now. And then we have a loop range. So we never that has been get so for each channel we will try to put a loop to send the matrix so for each item get the response items so here we will be passing two data that is a tags so 
just bring that as tax and then uh, fields like, uh, whatever fields we are going to collect so for now we will just be bringing our fields so we'll change this one now in a couple of minutes so the next thing is like land accumulator dot add fields So inside this, we'll uh, put the field name, post name, and the list of fields which you have collected, and the tags, and the timestamp. So now this uh, will be in an annual loop, loop like uh, for each channel, it will be sending a matrix. So now what we'll do is like we'll uh, instead of putting a hard coded string, we'll uh, create a new function like tags. We we'll pass this item and uh, we'll print out the tags and we'll return it to this uh, object. So we'll create up another function like uh, the tags. So we we'll put uh, channel info YouTube dot channel. So which will be a map string, a string each of our strings. So now we'll return this map string. So here we'll pass two things like the ID and the title. Channel four dot ID. Then the title channel info dot snippet title so this I have already tried that's the reason I mean uh, typing it fast so the during the first time I have just put some logs over here like uh, what kind of data been coming on so if you want to just play around this with this like what kind of a logs been coming on you can put just put some uh, logs here like, uh, what is the channel info so in that case like you can uh, see what kind of uh, data has been uh, returning out so in that case then you can uh, make a decision like what kind of a data you need to be sent I'm just ignoring this uh, consoles. So now uh, Similarly, we will be having a field like this. So now we'll uh, create up another function like a uh, get fields. Then pass this item. So now we'll pass the data like similar like what we did. Uh, for the tax so it will be youtube channel and then it will be like a map string type string type uh, interface which will be and some data We'll be returning a map with an interface. So, what other data we are going to print is like a list of subscribers for the channel. So, here you can uh, get the suggestions like a subscribers count. So similarly, the number of videos that the channel has been put. 
children four dot statistics dot video count the number of views that the uh, channel has received so far views count then we'll print out the channel which country this channel has been available in the when which country it has been created so channel infos will be like a snippet country and the channel name snippet and title And then when this channel has been created so we will collect this matrix as a string uh, map and we will be passing to this uh, loop and then it will be stored in this uh, duplex db I think uh, that's it with this uh, profile. So now we have created uh, the plugin. So the next part will be like uh, making a telegraph configuration file. So now if you see here, like uh, having this uh, go file. So the next part, what we have to do is like we have to navigate to the inputs folder. So here you can see a folder named all. So where uh, this is a root point, like a uh, so which will tell like uh, what are the plugins which needs to be compiled and uh, it's be created as a source file and a binary file single binary file so here we have to intimate like uh, the telegraph like we have created a new plugin just uh, so now we have been uh, creating a binary file like consider this plugin as well so in that case what we'll do is like we'll uh, open up this uh, all the two file So here we'll be listing out, listing down the list of plugins which needs to be done. So we'll create a new thing. So we'll tell the like where this uh, plugin which we have created is being available. Check it one more time whether this uh, YouTube plugin is been available. We put some intentions. Okay, so rest of the things are fine. So now what we'll do is like we'll uh, make this Telegraph plugin. So for that we have to navigate from this input plugins directory. So we'll uh, go to the directory Telegraph. So here, if we list down, there is a binary file in the graph. So to check it out, we'll go to our home, and then the Google. I'm sorry, go. Let's start our Telegraph, and here you can see the Telegraph uh, single binary file. So this file can be used anywhere, and you can uh, uh, run this configuration file. So for now what we'll do is like we'll delete this uh, telegraph binary file and then we'll give the command make telegraph so which will build all the plugins which we have given in this all.go file so it will check all the plugins and then it will go for the inputs outputs parsers aggregators and it will check all the all.go file in each of these folders and then it will combine everything and it will be creating a single binary file telegraph so once this file has been created, then the next step will be like uh, connecting with the configuration file. 
So meantime what we'll do is like we'll open up our uh, the influx db then we'll create a new bucket like a uh, youtube and then we'll create a configuration file and then we'll connect it uh, with this uh, binary file which we have created okay so it will be taking some time for to build so meantime we'll uh, create a bucket in uh, influx db and as well as we'll uh, create up a new uh, dashboard as well so first thing what we'll do is like we'll go to the data buckets we'll create one like youtube so the bucket has been created so there is no data has been available so the next thing what we'll do is like uh, we'll go to the data again we'll create up a telegraph so we'll create a telegraph so we'll choose the bucket as youtube for now we'll just use this uh, system as the plugin then youtube Just copy this uh, influx token. And then we we'll go to this file. So we'll download this uh, configuration file. So now uh, here in this side, the telegraph. Uh, single binary has been created so if you see here it's around 46 MB so even if you want to reduce the size what you can do is like in this all uh, go file you can remove the unnecessary plugins which you don't need and in all the folders like the inputs outputs and aggregators then you can uh, try it out so then the uh, file size will be even smaller so now what we'll do is like uh, so the next step you have copied the YouTube configuration file so now we'll open this configuration file over here the next thing what we have to do is like we'll take out this uh, inputs guys and then what we need is an uh, the only the YouTube part so before that we'll copy this token save this token as well and then we'll have the inputs inputs.youtube so that's the name which we have given right inputs.youtube here so we should call this uh, plugin so here we are having some configurations like uh, just take a reference of this uh, plugin as well like how they've been doing the configurations so in this uh, this directly they've been doing some configurations right so similarly for our uh, youtube uh, plugin what other things we have to do is the channels we'll go here we'll provide the channels it will be an array of strings so you can provide some channels over here and then the api key should be given explicitly over here so it will be taken out so our, our creator so we'll create an api key so to create an api key you just go to the go to the gcp platform that's the google cloud platform and then uh, if you are a new user you can create create a new project and then uh, head over to this navigation menu Click on the apps and services, dashboards, then uh, click on enable API and services, and 
then here you can do like called if you so here you can find the sky like a uh, UPBPA version 3 so and then uh, so this API is been by default it will be enabled or if it is not enabled in your case you can enable so this uh, that will be a button called uh, enable API so once this uh, API has been enabled so the next part what we have to do is like again go to this API and services click on credentials then click uh, create a credential so click on API key so we'll be getting an API key just copy this one and uh, paste it in your configuration file so that, that's a simple work you have to do with this uh, GCP side so now the channels uh, list of channels which you have to get it out like I've already taken some channels so you can uh, choose whatever the channels you want, want to uh, monitor add those channels as well so now we'll save this file so now what we'll do is like we'll uh, try to run this telegraph configuration file so uh, still I'm in this uh, custom uh, telegraph folder so now what we'll do is like we'll provide this path telegraph with like and config and then we'll provide the path of uh, uh, this telegraph configuration uh, file which we have created is so now we'll uh, provide this YouTube configuration file and run so there's something errors like channels will not be used so go back to our configuration and check what is the error so inside the YouTube it should be like so we'll save this one and try to run it again plugin inputs dot youtube line number 71 channels but they weren't used We'll get check channels, channels, and here it is channels. Just that because of this indentation. It is not the API key. So this guy. So just uh, go to this YouTube configuration. Inputs. Dot YouTube. Try with the pseudo command as well. Channel 
ones and then every key is being used which one of these channels has been used so here we have been using the channels channels so we'll try to make this telegraph again one more time so I think that uh, some people errors being happened so we'll now we'll check out one more time once we build this telegraph configuration file So once this uh, build file is created, then we we'll, uh, check out whether we are getting the data over here. So we'll just go to the export tab and we'll click on the YouTube. So far we didn't receive anything since we are not yet connected. So I'll uh, set this configuration already. Okay, now the telegraph uh, binary file has been created. Now we. We'll we'll try to run it again yeah so now it's been working fine so that's the issue like it should be in a channels receptacle uh, error the channels and channels gets uh, confused so now i think like a error configuration has been running on so now we'll check here the statistics like whether we are getting any data Okay, now we are getting this uh, channel, YouTube channel, we click it on and uh, we'll see, uh, we'll try to see what other fields we are getting on. It's been loading. So now we are getting the list of fields like the channel name, country, created on. So now we just provide a channel name and click. And here we will get the single statistics. Okay, we will go to the editor and we will uh, remove this. Guys, like the main function is not needed for a string. And here as well. Okay, now we are getting this uh, string. So, which means like uh, we are able to get the metrics. So, again, like uh, switch to the switch builder and see the counts. So, we'll, uh, see the number of videos this channel has been having on so it's around like uh, it's around uh, one lakh videos they've been having on so we can uh, customize this like uh. so now you can see the channel counts so now we have uh, created a custom plugin and we are able to get the data in influx db so the next part what we'll do is like we'll uh, try to create a dashboard for this uh, plugin and then we will visualize all the metrics which we have been collecting.